Right guys, so this is going to be my first big massive carving that I've done. That's a big log of cedar. And I'm, I'm going to do a big squirrel in it. And it's to go around at the wee place beside where I'm doing the spear trail. So, all good guys, let's get rocking on a rolling. So you can see now I've got a nice bit to work with. Let's cut that chunky bit off. There was a wee log on the front there. So I'll have it looking like this now. Check out the beautiful grape. So I'll draw on the squirrel. His tail's going to be up this side. The tail running down. And then his body's going to be here. So I'll get that draw drew on till it now. And then see what I'm going to do next night. Do the next outside cuts. Let's just keep her going guys. So you can see there I've just drew it on rough. Didn't go too close to it. Still, you can see a wee bit here, front of the leg. Needs to get chopped off, but I'm going to just do all the rest with a shaping dish. So, next I'll come down, cut the inside of the tail, round it off, and round off the back of it. I've got the acorn in the middle of the head, had the eyes on it, sort of where I needed to come into. That's the ear sort of done here. That's the, the end bits getting cut away. And then I'll burn up in this bit here, burn the shadow into there. So it's going to look like it's separate anywhere. You can see there I've got it all moved in a lot more here. Took the head and the arms are in it now. Started rounding off the front. Got to take this bit out. That gets rounded off then. There's an acorn going in there. The whole head has to go back. And round, round this half of it all shaped as well. Just to work onto the tail. The whole head needs to go in. I need to cut the bit out between the two ears. Round the top of that head gets rounded off more. Runs onto the ears, but the whole head needs to go back. But that's where it's at now. Yeah, here's where I'm at now. Whoop, boy. You can see the whole head now needs thinned away in it at the two sides. I started to lower that down in between where the ears are. I've most of that hand cut in, it's going to be a big acorn in there. You can see down in here now. Got the two legs starting to run over. Down until the feet. It's done right the way around. You can see where I've got the arm in. And the leg in. Back of it comes up. Oh, and then the back of it has all been smoothed out. Down in the tail is all smooth now. Just the texture of that part. And that's where I'm at now. But I got all that texture right there and even into the back there. It's textured all the way around. The angle or the die grinder. Where the cuts all in it. And that down right the way around, it burned around the bottom of that side too. Under the arm and stuff. See again the grains. The grains lovely on it. So just to do them hands and stuff. To do them hands. Pull the acorn tomorrow. I burnt up in under the bottom there. But just to cut the feet in really. Over that. I got that other hand cut in there. Acorn. So now I can work back off them now. And I'm thinking of using a wood burner on this anyway, just to burn the details around the main part. Yeah, here we go. Final details. He's looking out now. the rest of the head, thin under the eyes, under the cheeks, pull out the nose. Got nearly all the tail burnt apart from at the back. Some more wee bit still to burn at the back of it. I've got the feet cut in there now bro. Still have to level out that bottom of that log. With the whole, this part of the logs, <coughs> all they get leveled out and scooping down now.
here is the magic bit. Put the oil on her. Check that out. Yeah, there we go. That is the squirrel, firstly complete. Don't forget, <clears throat> senior pieces, people. Senior pieces. Check out that beautiful green. Acorn. You can see the grains come out in the hand burning. 